I just cut the 12 volt cables. Klopt die niet? Ja, ik denk het wel. Ik weet niet of dat je ze nog ziet. Lukt het een beetje om het eraf te krijgen? Dit is het laatste. Oh. Even het breekt snel af. So we bought 10 mattresses from IKEA and Anja is going to make uh, the fabric for it. We ordered it in, in the Netherlands. It's good, good stuff against almost everything you can throw at it. And this will look a lot better. Gaat die nou goed? Klopt die niet? Ja. Ik denk het wel. We hebben nu ruimte zat. Ja. Oh mooi. Ja, dat wordt wat. Het zit er nog niet op. Maar... Nee, maar het uh, komt. I'm installing the Victron charger inverter, MultiPlus 12, 3120, 16 amperes. I wanted to do it in one of the rear cabins, but there's no place to, to fit it. So we chose to do it over here. It's not the nicest place because it's in the middle of the cabin, but we don't have much choice. So this it will be. So this is the bulkhead here. It's a little bit more than the length of the screws. So it can have some weight, which is important because this thing over here is about 18 kilos or something. Again, change of plans. We had the Victron MultiPlus situated over there. The problem is that the thing is way too thick when it's hung over here, it stuck out too much. So there was no way I could make a nice casing over here. But when I place it over here, you can see there's just room enough. So I'm gonna bring it down, uh, leave some room under it and next to it. I already drilled a hole over here as possible to the other side. I'm gonna make it bigger so I can lead all those thick cables through that to the batteries who are over there. So I'm busy with the electrics again. Uh, I lowered the Victron about 30 centimeters so that it will fit in a cabinet that I am planning here. I just cut the 12 volt cables at the right length. So I need to go back to the electric store to have some of these guys put on the, on the cables. Right behind here, behind the bulkhead, uh, the battery so it can be any shorter than this and now I have to do the 230 volts this is going to be the shore power cable the old shore power cable came in at the other side of the boat I can't use that uh, so make a new one and then I have two groups 16 amps and 32 amps the 32 amp line will be the main line and the 16 amp line will be uh, for like a, a warm water heater, electric warm water heater and a washing machine. Things we maybe don't want to run on the, on the batteries. 
although uh, the washing machine we will probably run on the batteries the first group is always on you get uh, when you have shore power or a generator the Victron is using that and if you need more than that more than the 16 amp or maybe less that the shore power delivers the Victron just combines the shore power with uh, the batteries double the amps that you would have with shore power and the other one the other line when you don't have shore power it's off automatically so if uh, for example you have a warm water heater a boiler and uh, the shore power gets cut for whatever reason there is no chance that it will run on your batteries which is I think a very handy uh, thing like it so far so we'll see how it works but first I need to do this By the way, I made a hole over here, put some uh, epoxy in it to uh, protect the wood, sanded it to make it smooth and it will not cut the lines. Maybe I'll do some uh, rubber here to protect the lines even more, I don't know yet. Thanks! This is going to be shore power in, this is going to be AC out 1, and this is going to be AC out 2. So this is the line from the shore power, the phase, the hot, it's going into the breaker. Earth is going here, neutral here, and phase is coming out here, going this way into the AC in, which is connected here, ground phase neutral for now i'll only use the ac out number one with the 32 combined amps because we have nothing that we don't want to run when there's no shore power because we even want to be able to run the washing machine on the batteries I also fitted an RCD. Don't ask me what those letters stand for. In Dutch we call it kind of a earth leak switch. When there is a difference in amperes, in milliampers actually we're talking about, between the phase and the neutral, then this will switch off the power. Uh, you use a 30 milliampere. Uh, they say for wet groups, uh, like for washing machines, those kind of things, use uh, 30 milliampers and for the others use uh, 300 milliampers but because the washing machine is on the same group as the rest we use a uh, 30 milliamp by the way i put it on the ac out number one the 32 amp thingy not on the shore power because whether we use shore power or batteries the current goes through this line anyway so then everything will be shut off I just got back from the electricity shop and at last ta -da! they did the crimping so now I only have to fit it into uh, the boat and then we are kind of self-sufficient at least with, uh, with electricity um, we still need some more solar power but first we'll see what we can do with what we have now which is two 145 watt peak uh, panels and two smaller ones which I think are 80 or something I hope and we'll see how far we get with that as you can see here we have two connection points for the plus battery cables and two connection points for the minuses I think they did it because this is already 50 millimeter square cable and you need at least 90 millimeter uh, which would be a, a 100 and it's going to be that thick which is not really handy so I guess that's why they did two connection points it's a good thing Victron states that we need to mount a 400 ampere ANL fuse, the melting type fuse, in the plus of the 
battery lines. Over here they didn't even know what it was, but luckily uh, Herman and Mario Lijn from Sailing Messenger brought it with them from Holland. So here it is. Uh, it was including this bracket which I had to modify to fit those cable shoes. Don't mind all the cable chaos, I still need to mount it. I already bought the stuff. So this will be a neat bunch of cables when I'm ready. By the way, we made all those cables exactly the same length, although I don't know if that's really necessary in this case. I mean, it goes from the same point to the same point. Anyway, just to be sure, no? At the moment we're testing out the Victron and batteries of course, see what it can handle. And I has turned on the washing machine and I'm checking out now what it draws in amps. So the washing machine is uh, running now. I've seen upstart amps, 16 amperes max. So that's quite a lot. But now it fluctuates, six till almost nine. But I don't know if it's already heating up the water. We do a short program, 30 degrees Celsius, half an hour. are higher now so I think it's because there's more water in the washing machine now so it must be heavier to turn it around it's still doing okay now it's pumping looks good and this is the dryer on full speed so not bad this is looking good the max uh, short starting resistance is about 20 23 very short uh, washing and heating at the same time I guess is around 15, 14, 15 amps. The dryer does approximately 5, 6 amps, 6.5. So this is doable. It doesn't drain the batteries because we have, uh, we have enough sun at the moment. Looky look. Really nice.